What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the last pack review, part two of the Derby Day Roma. I'm going to do this one a little bit quicker, so let me know whether you prefer the longer kind of in-depth breakdown videos that are like eight to nine minutes, where I'm taking a look at all the players in depth and talking about them, or if you want just a quick overview of them. So this one is going to be a bit of a quick overview of them, because there isn't really any of the players in here that I would really recommend. Pellegrini's not bad, I still think that the Lazio pack is better, but we will take a look in a second, starting with Dybala. So... I think this guy is obviously a bit lost in translation, lads, right? He's got inconsistent form, which is a big, big worry for this card. Now, obviously, inconsistent doesn't mean, you know, he's always going to be down. It just means that you will probably not be able to depend on him going, you know, into a, like a Division 2 or Division 1 match. Like if you have him on your bench or your squad, you need players that are going to be up more often than not to give yourself the best chance of getting, you know, your starting 11 or your desired starting 11 all game every game right so i do like his stats obviously he's able to shoot i think the best thing is uh the best way of pronounce or describing him is kind of like you know uh, a messy light kind of experience you've got the passing you've got the shooting you've got the dribbling you've got the speed and acceleration very similar the low center of uh, gravity with the balance stat is is really good he's also got some nice player skills and of course on top of that um you know he has got that 89 curl which is good with the finishing so i do like him i obviously would train him up this way i think you need to be scoring a lot of shots with him cutting in but because with v2.4 they have nerfed the shooting i would definitely say that you know you're better off using more of a kind of a a better player in this position than Dybella. So that's just my opinion. Abraham has been flying it for Aroma in the last couple of years. And I do think that him as a goal poacher is a good is a good uh, is a good pack to get or a good player to get in this pack. His form isn't unwavering. It is standard as we see here, form two. He also has very few player skills apart from a couple of shooting uh, player skills, which is obviously what you want as a striker the big worry about this card man is that he's shooting no matter what you really do his finishing isn't going to go up past you know obviously look you could have his dexterity at like 80 and then you could put the shooting up a little bit as well but it's not going to get over 87 88 unless you really kind of like um lose out on the rest of the card and then obviously you have to worry about his dribbling his tight possession not a bad player though man when you train him up that way not a bad player his offensive awareness for a goal poacher is quite bad um which is kind of why i would train him up this way but then you're obviously lacking on the shooting right so you have to pick your poison with this card do you want a 93 rated version of him with really high offensive awareness and acceleration or do you want a really good shooting center forward that has low offensive awareness he won't be making those runs in so again there's just better options than him there including the roma pack that they released there his standard version isn't too bad either next up we've got pellegrini he's probably the pick of these uh players he's got excellent player skills he's got unwavering form he's got speed acceleration that are just perfect for his position we don't have to train those up massively offensive awareness ball control all the attack stats that you could possibly want 87 low pass and lofted pass and of course as well then he has got that 70 tackling and aggression which as an amf is pretty decent if you are not going to be playing pedri i mean pedri just you know defends for you from the amf position what i like about pellegrini lads right is when you take a look at his card it does look like a fairly average card but when you train him up he is going to become one of the best um attacking midfielders in the game strictly because of his player skills right you don't need to train up as much skills uh or as much of the stats that correlate with the skills as, as you you would with other cards because he's got weighted pass one touch pass true passing but he's also got no look pass so there's a lot of players that do not have no look pass it unlocks a specific animation that kind of the ball travels in a slightly different way right you can't trigger it it's just contextual with the player skill De Maria does it as well Ronaldinho um sometimes but there are a lot of you know a lot a lot to like about this Gar Pellegrini right which means that when you are training him up right you do need to kind of like really focus on where you're going to be playing him whole players at the moment are super overpowered so I would give him an advantage over pretty much anyone that's a non-hole player with these stats because as I said you've got excellent dribbling and excellent ball control and all that sort of stuff I would you know I would seriously consider because of his offensive awareness I would actually consider taking down that a little fraction 
and probably up in his dribbling a bit. Like you could have a really, really good player there in the hole um, that kind of rivals some of the epic uh, attacking midfielders that they brought in and the kind of the meta attacking midfielders, right? The only thing is you're not going to be able to shoot with this guy with the way you train him up. Even though we've got five into finishing, it's just not going to really happen because he's not that type of player. But he is a beast and he definitely is the best player on the Roma selection here. And rounding us off, we, ha- we have El Shah. I mean, I remember El Shah back in Master League. He is a super sub, so it does make this card a little bit more, um, you know, a little better. He has the standard form as we see there, uh, which is a bit of a pity. Low stamina, not great speed, not great passing or lofted pass. But as a winger, we are just going to be really pumping up his dribbling, his acceleration and his offensive awareness with balance. And yeah, he is probably the weakest winger that they have in these packs, including the Barca Real Madrid one as well. So I would definitely say if you get him, I don't know, would he be worth it? If you look at his standard card, it goes 40 levels and starts at level 72 or overall 72. This card starts at 78, but only goes 29 levels. So you're going to have a very similar card on the end of each uh, train and progression. The only thing I like about El Shah is that he is kind of a bit of a, a classic Pez iconic player um, if you played a lot of Master League or whatever. So yeah, that is pretty much it, Les. Let me know if you like these shorter based videos where we don't go into as much detail or if you like the longer ones that we've done for the Barca at Real Madrid and Lazio pack. But that is it for me. Pellegrini is the man to get there. If you do get him, definitely don't sleep on him. If he gets into A or B form, he will be an absolute unit in the middle of the pitch, especially in an attacking advanced role. So that is it for me, Let's Don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying the content. Keep the feedback, suggestions coming. And uh, we will talk to you in a bit. Have a good day.